and welcome to our lesson. Today we're going to learn to play Baba Tendaza, a South African song on our instruments. Before starting this lesson, you need to have done lesson one where we learn to sing the song. If you'd like to record yourself playing, send it into Nottingham Music Hub where you can be part of a massive online performance featuring pupils from area bands, intermediate orchestra and the Robin Hood Youth Orchestra. You'll find instructions of how to do this at the end of the video. There is quite a lot to learn this lesson, so if you feel like you need to stop, pause it, practice, please, please do that. You might need to practice for about one or two weeks before you try to record yourself. Have a good lesson! Let's do some warm-ups now on our D string, our second thickest string, our A string, our second thinnest string. We're also going to use some fingers which is our red sticker on our A string and our best friends too, which goes right next to it on our A string to make the notes B, which is one finger on A and C, which is best friends too on A. Let's start with rock it on D. Rock it on D. Rock it on A. One on red. Open A. One on red. Best friends two. Open A. Rock it on red. Best friends two. Open A. Rock it on red. I'm now going to play some rhythms on my A string for you to copy back. Your turn. Good work! Let's have a go now at learning section one. We start on our A string and we go A, B, 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 B. Let's have a go together. One, two, three, four. A, B, 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 B. Good. Listen to the next bit. B, two, A, one. B, C, A, B. Let's play that together. One, two, three, four. B, two, A, one. Good. Let's put the whole of that line together now. One, two, three, four. A, one, one. Playing that twice. One, two, three, four. A one, 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 two, A one. And again. Don't forget, it's a best friends two for that C. The next bit is slightly different. So listen to me first. We're now going to play that four times. So join in with me. Three, four, go. Lovely. Now we're going to put those two sections together. One, two, three, four. section two. It starts with call and response. We hear Ooh, mama bagu, and when we hear that we play B, B, C, A, B. One, one, best friends, A, one. And we do that twice. Let's have a go. So listen for my call and play with me with the response starting with our first finger down. Ooh, mama bagu, Good. The second part of section two we've already 
already played in section one. We go. B, 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 C, A, B. putting that all together. So we listen. And that is the whole of section two. Now we've learnt sections one and section two, we're going to put them together. One, two, let's play. One, two, three. So, when you decide to record your performance, there's a few things that we need you to do. If you know how to make sure that your instrument is in tune, please try and tune it before you record yourself. You can always get an adult to help you, but do not worry if you're not sure how to do this, as that is absolutely fine. When you begin to record your performance, it's really important that you use headphones to listen to the backing track, and then record yourself playing along on another device like a phone, a tablet, or maybe a laptop. We want to hear your amazing playing and not the backing track. So remember to play nice and confidently and make sure that the backing track is coming through your headphones. When the backing track begins, you will hear four bars of click before the music starts. On the third bar, you'll hear Matt say, let's play. Please make sure that you say this nice and loud and in time with the backing track. This helps us to make sure that all the videos are synced up together nicely. Most importantly, an adult at home will need to give permission for your video to be uploaded. We'll show a short statement later in the video and they will need to read it out on camera at the end of your performance. Please ask an adult to say the statement to the camera when you finish playing. At the end of this lesson, we will show the email address that you need to send your recording to, but please remember there must be an adult reading out the permission statement at the end of your video. Lastly, just smile and enjoy yourself. If you need to miss a few notes out, this is absolutely fine. Just try your best. Good luck. The final playthrough of Babaton Daza is quite a lot faster. So practice at this tempo first a few times and only record when you feel ready and you're confident. Now we can play this at the slower speed. We need to try and practice it at the quicker speed that we need to do our recording that Tony has told us about. Don't forget that when we start, we need to say, let's play at the same time as Matt. Get ready. Bows on the A string, fingers hovering, off we go. One, two, let's play. One, two, three. Click the link below to enter your answer, find out if you were right and score points for your school. Your scores will be entered into the Nottingham Music Hub School scoreboard. 
Well done everybody, so today we've learned how to perform and to record the South African piece Baba Tendaza. When your recording is ready, send it to Rio Recordings at nottinghammusichub.org.uk by the 30th of June. Please label the file with your name and the instrument that you play. Make sure you've included your permissions from the adult at home. If the file is too big to send, you can always use We Transfer. The final performance will be out in July, so keep following us on social media for updates. We hope you had fun playing today and we'll see you soon.